yeah so hello everyone welcome to today's video this is shanmagaraj we are continuing our journey on safe in yesterday's video we talked about the road map for step implementation sorry safe implementation the first step is the reaching the tipping point so that's what we're going to discuss today if you look at this road map the first step is reach the tipping point where you go for safe or any other agile implementation scaled implementations where you are already working in a waterfall or some other dog way of working on it right and there are 12 steps we discussed yesterday in implementing the road map the first step is reaching the tipping point in today's topic we are going to, we are going to discuss about why we need to reach the tipping point the details about reaching the tipping point like the need for change establish the vision for change and then take an economical view and getting there and moving forward why should we reach a tipping point the changing the way of working in a medium to large organization including its habits and cultures is hard implementing safe or any other scaled framework may be the one of the toughest but still most rewarding change initiatives because people naturally resist change it is very common to hear the statements like you know that won't work here this is the way we always work right similarly people will naturally keep their old behaviors they will might retain their old behaviors unless there is some exceptionally good reason to make change the reason must be so compelling that the status quo becomes simply unacceptable in other words the enterprise must reach its tipping point until otherwise you are not reaching the tipping point no point in taking the transformation right what could be the need for change to realizing the tipping point safe talks about two particular reasons for need for change the first one is the a burning platform sometimes the need for change uh, product or service is obvious because the company might be failing to compete the existing way of doing business is obviously inadequate to achieve a new solution so this is one of the easier business case for change a burning platform right the second way of identifying the need for change or arriving at a tipping point is through a visionary leadership in absence of burning platform the leadership must drive change proactively taking a stand for better future state clean agile leaders must exhibit what toyota would call a constant sense of danger right in this case leaders must create a clear and compelling vision for change that answers why the change is needed right once you know that you are reaching a tipping point there is a certainly a need for a change 
either through a burning platform or a visionary leadership. The next step is always establishing the vision for change. Three important aspects in establishing the vision for change is the first thing is the purpose. The vision should clarify the purpose and the direction for the change and sets the mission for all to follow. It's very, very important you set the purpose, you set the expectations, set the directions. Right? Once you know the purpose of it, it could be a burning platform, it could be something, you know, practically looking for a change. Identify the business need of it. Then motivating the people. Right? Vision helps in motivation. Vision helps to move people in the right directions. Vision helps motivate people by giving them a compelling vision. And establishing a vision is helping in alignment as well. It helps to start the coordinated action necessary to assure the required change, the people, entire team together moving towards a new and more personally rewarding goal, right? So with the clarity of vision, people are empowered to empower to take actions necessary to achieve the vision. So very, very important to have the clarity of vision, understanding, you know, the vision should have purpose, it should motivate and have an alignment, right? So once you know the need for change, once you have set a product vision or business vision statement, then you have to take an economical view, understand what are the business benefits of leading this change and quantify it and mention that benefits in the business case. If you want to understand the need of mentioning the quantified quantification of business results or quantification of business benefits we are anticipating, you can look at my leadership series videos on benefit realization management. It's very much important to understand the anticipated business benefits of this, the transformation or a leading the change we are initiating by doing that. A generally, a scaled agile like framework like SAFE, it gives an improvement of 30 to 75 percent in time to market, 20 to 75 percent in quality of the product delivery, 20 to 50 percent improvement in the productivity, and 10 to 50 percent improvement in the engagement. Right. So we can mention any of these business results are not only limited to this, you can identify other business benefits as well, which is relevant to our context, relevant to our business, relevant to our industry, relevant to our portfolios, right? So identifying the and quantifying the business benefits is very, very important to have a benefit realization plan in place before we start this particular initiative. So once you identify the business benefits and getting there is about the most consistent effective way of organization to reach a certain point is the shared experience of the leaders and key influences attending leading safe. Right? The leaders must take time as a group to collaboratively explore, analyze, and validate for themselves the changes facing the organization, the challenges facing the organization. They must evaluate how the current system contributes to, the, to those challenges. They learn the mindset principles and practices that they will need to adopt to achieve the transformative results they envision. It's very, very important that the leaders must take time, they get together, collaboratively explore it, have a shared vision, have a shared experience by attending leading safe programs. And then moving forward, you know that a clear vision and compelling vision for change 
or wasted if, if it is not accompanied by the powerful guiding violation. So the next step is given that compelling reason to change is there, the tipping point is there. You identify the vision, you established it, you communicated it, you identify the businesses, and then the next step is the commitment from the leadership to build a transformation team to create a powerful guiding violation to gain knowledge and explore possible ways to launching safe implementation. Right? So the next critical move is to train lean agile change agents or building a powerful guiding violations. In tomorrow's video, we'll discuss in detail about how do we build a transformation team or how do we build a powerful guiding violation to move forward with safe implementation. Okay, so you got a fair idea about the reason for uh, reaching a tipping point, it makes a lot of sense for most of the organizations to getting into a transformation journey. Okay, so thanks a lot for your uh, patient listening. Please put your comments and like to understand your thoughts, your feedback. I want to identify my improvement areas through your feedback. Alright, so thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.